Hello mathematicians and welcome back to Math with Mr. Almeida. This video today we are going to talk about um, how to uh, divide a, um, a whole number by a fraction. So if you look at this problem, uh, really these the stories uh, provide a great context and a way for us to utilize uh, division of fractions. Um, but I think lo looking at the problems really help to uh, get a deeper understanding of what's going on because then we'll see how it might be able to apply to real life as well. So let's take a look at this, at this story problem and figure out what's actually going on here. Okay, so it says Benjamin has nine cups of sugar. So I know that Ben has nine cups of sugar. I could draw a model of that, um, but let me keep on reading just to see if this is actually what I should be drawing a picture of or if this is some fraction of something else. All right, so it says, if this, now this is a pronoun that refers to something that was just mentioned. So this is referring to the nine cups of sugar. So this sentence really reads, if nine cups of sugar is three-fourths of the number uh, of cups of sugar that he needs to make the cake, how many cups of sugar does he need? So I am trying to figure out the number of cups that he needs. So let me just answer this question with a blank for what the answer is going to be. So Ben needs blank cups of sugar. Let me just write that out so I know what my mind is thinking about. Blank Ben needs Ben needs a certain number of cups. Okay. So Ben needs some number of cups. All right, let's take a look at what's going on here. It says, if nine cups of sugar is three-fourths of the number he needs to make the cake. So this is asking me three-fourths of some number is equal to nine. And that's this division expression that's created right here. So nine divided by three-fourths equals some number. It's saying three-fourths of some number that I don't know yet is 9. So let me draw what that number is that I don't know yet. And let me just label that. And I now need to do what to that number? I need to partition that number into four equal parts. And I'm going to mark off three of those parts three of those parts, and three of those parts is the number nine. So if I wanted to find what all, all four of these parts was, I first have to find the size of one of these parts. And these are the number of cups. Number of cups. So I'm going to, uh, I see that nine is being uh, divided equally amongst three equal parts. So if I find one of these parts, I'm going to find what one-third of 9 is. So one of these smaller units is going to be 9 uh, divided by 3 or finding one-third of 9. And one-third of 9 is 3. Okay, So each one of these pieces is 3. And I don't want to find just one unit. My question is asking me to find all four units or the whole number of cups that are needed. So four units are going to be four copies of three. Four copies of or four times three, which is equal to 12. So therefore, Ben needs 12 cups. That's what he needs. He needs 12 cups. Now, that's, that's one way to solve it, uh, because this problem uh, really required us to use the partitive interpretation of division. 
That's why I drew this model. However, if you just see this division expression right here and you're asked to find what the quotient is, you can draw a visual model, but you can actually um, use the measurement interpretation. So you're saying how many groups of 3 fourths are there in 9? How many groups of 3 fourths are in 9? So therefore I would draw 9 holes. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'd model my dividend in a measurement division interpretation. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now what I'm going to do, let me just verify I have 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to partition or break up each of these 9 whole pieces into 4 equal parts because that's what my units are that I'm trying to make groups of. So I'm going to break it into 4 equal parts. And now I'm going to shade in um, all nine of these holes. Shading in nine holes because that's what my dividend is right here. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to make groups of this divisor right here. So I'm going to make groups of three. These pieces are already called fourths. So again, this question is asking me how many groups of three fourths are in nine. So I'm going to make groups of three fourths. One group of three fourths. Two groups of three fourths. So these pieces are called fourths. So one, two, three. Another group of 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 three, 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 and another group of three. So let me count the number of groups that I have, and all of my groups are actually whole groups. There's no group that um, isn't completely uh, a group of three. So let me count my whole groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are twelve whole groups of three fourths in nine. And that is the exact same quotient that we arrived at with our previous problem. So again, the two different interpretations are going to give you the same quotient. Um, however, the models might look slightly different. So how will you check to see if, if your quotient of 12 is actually the correct number? Well, um, understanding division means that the quotient times the divisor, uh, if there was any remainder, would be added to it. But then uh, you, would, you would get the dividend. So we're going to take 12, multiply it by 3 fourths, and see if we actually get 9. So let's test this out, just to verify. So I have 12 groups of 3 fourths are equal to 9. Let me just verify this is true. So I have 12 groups of 3, and that would make 36. And 36, uh, 36 fourths would be 36 divided by 4. And is 36 divided by 4 the same value as 9? So that's what the equal sign means. It means the same value as. Is 36 fourths, or 36 divided by 4, the same value as 9?